Good morning, everyone, and welcome to God's house. Today, October 1st, 2023. We will be having communion today, so if you have not gotten your elements together, you can stop the video here and go and get them and come back and join us. And now for our call to worship. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our call to worship today is coming from Psalm 78. Give ear, O oh, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings from of all things that we have heard and known, that our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from their children, my God. We will tell to the coming of generations, the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might and the wonders that he has done. In the sight of their ancestors, he worked marvels in the land of Egypt and in the fields of Zion. He divided the sea and let them pass through it. Mm. He made the water stand like a heap. In the daytime, he led them with a cloud and in the nighttime, a fiery light. He split rocks open in the wilderness and gave them drink abundantly as from the deep. He made streams come out of the rock and caused the waters to flow like rivers. Amen. 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 Our praise hymn is in an age of twisted values. And I'll have Don play through a verse for an introduction, because I believe this is new to yes. most of yeah, the world. <laughs>
I already know. Jesus. She's back. <laughs> Let us pray. Holy God, living Jesus, loving spirit, we ask that you sanctify our worship and praises to you. You've called us to joy, celebration, and thanksgivings. Speak to us today with words of life and healing. Empower us for the work you've given us to do. Grant, Almighty God, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he has loved us. and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept our prayers. Strengthen us to do your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. text this morning comes from Exodus chapter 17 verses 1 through 7. From the wilderness of sin the whole congregation of the Israelites journeyed by stages as the Lord commanded. They camped at Rephidim but there was no water for the people to drink. The people quarreled with Moses and said give us water to drink. <laughs> Moses said to them why do you quarrel with me? Why do you test the Lord? But the people thirsted there for water, and the people complained against Moses and said, Why did you bring us out of Egypt to kill us and our children and livestock with thirst? So Moses cried out to the Lord, What shall I do for this people? They're almost ready to stone me. The Lord said to Moses, Go on ahead of the people and take some of the elders of Israel with you. Take in your hand the staff with which you struck the Nile and go. I will be standing there in front of you on the rock at Horeb. Strike the rock and water will come out of it so that the people may drink. Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. He called the place Massai and Meribah because the Israelites quarreled and tested the Lord saying, is the Lord among us or not? Mm. Yeah. Our epistle reading comes from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. If then there is any comfort in Christ, any consolation from love, any partnership in the Spirit, any tender affection and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Mm. 
do nothing from selfish ambition or empty conceit, uh -huh. but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Uh -huh. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. <laughs> Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he existed in the form of God, mm -hmm. did not regard equality with God mm -hmm. as something to be grasped, mm -hmm. but emptied himself, mm -hmm. taking the form of a slave, mm -hmm. assuming human likeness. Jesus. And being found in appearance as a human, he humbled himself mm -hmm. and became obedient to the point of death, mm -hmm. even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him even more highly and gave him the name that is above every other name, so that at the name given to Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Mm -hmm. Therefore, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed me, not only in my presence, but much more now in my absence, Work on your own salvation uh -huh. with fear and trembling. Uh -huh. For it is God who is at work in you, enabling you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Uh -huh. Be a blessing. I can think of no better <coughs> blessing than the folks who went to Excel last week. <laughs> so come on up and and be a blessing to us and let us know how it went in three minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. One of the biggest things that I got from Excel that weekend was. <laughs> You have a purpose, mm. and in that purpose, you were born mm -hmm. with everything mm. that you need to accomplish. Yes, Lord. That's you, We got to understand that we go, I just told my sister this a, a little while ago, the only thing God promised you was tests, trials, and tribulations, oh, and the fact that he will never yeah. leave you, ever leave you, mm -hmm. that's what he promised. <laughs> He didn't say it was going to be easy. Matter of fact, he told you it wasn't going to be. <laughs> he told you that right out the gate, look, this is not going to be easy. <laughs> but if you hang on in there, yes, I will be right there for you. Yes, so Come on now. you have to let your tests and your trials teach you your lesson mm -hmm. so that you can become what it is uh -huh. that you need to fulfill your purpose. Yes, Lord. Because you have one. You have one. You just have to let God be God, work his magic, yeah. mm -hmm. be obedient. You ain't even got to do it with a smile on your face. <laughs> you don't. You just have to do it true. and fulfill that purpose. Yes, Lord. Fulfill it. Because everything that you need to do to fulfill that purpose is already in you. Yeah. Because why? <laughs> He made you worthy. Yes, he did. <laughs> he did. Oh, Jesus. So, in closing, it be a blessing. Let him work it. Mm -hmm. Let him do it. Because if I try to do it, I mess up every time. You better believe it. Let him work it and let him make you worthy. Amen. That's right. To piggyback off of what my sister just said, <laughs> it is such a pleasure to know that the best person that can come and let you know what you need to know is God's grace and his mercy. Mm -hmm. um, this was my second time going to the Excel retreat, and it was so personal that it was ridiculous because God pulled out the big guns on me. <laughs> um, it was amazing to know that even in my inner thoughts, when I don't share with people how I feel or what I'm experiencing, for God to go through all of my troubleness in my heart to give me a healing for myself, to let me know you ain't put here by yourself. You put here with others around you. Mm -hmm. 
He's a God of promise. Everything that he's promised me to where I have to keep revealing, he keep revealing through his word, his promises. And he comes right back around and let me know this is what I said. Mm. Man, we we so we get so much in positions and we get and I pray to God whatever position he put me in and whatever God he excelled me to to get me in the position I'm gonna be in in my next season is that I honor him through my position. Mm -hmm. I don't take my authority and I don't abuse it upon the weak, upon the poor, and mislead them and tell them that God is this big old monster that just <laughs> throwing bloody balls at you every time you be disobedient. That was far from the truth. <laughs> God let me know that he chose me That's right. as well as others to be in position to where we are at this very moment in time. Yes, ma'am. You cannot manipulate the spirit. The spirit, the Holy Spirit is so powerful, it can't be manipulated. So don't try. Because God loves to make the enemy a liar. Mm -hmm. He loves to show you that the enemy is a deceiver. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the truth to me was to embrace that God chose me. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. He did he not apologize for choosing me, and I'm not apologizing for being here ever mm -hmm. again. Please because he knew I could do the job. That's right. He put Jacket where he put Jacket because he knew Jacket could do the job. That's he right. put Tim where he put Tim. He put Don where he put Don because he knew could nobody do it better than the position. Mm. So to be a blessing to my people, stay focused on your purpose mm -hmm. because it was designed for you. Don't give up on your purpose. I don't care how hard it gets. Trust me, I tried to give up. He chased me down. Mm -hmm. Chase you down. It's, it's unscapable. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just walk into his footsteps that's already been ordered. Your COD is for free. Your mm -hmm. shipping and handling is for free. You don't have to. He charges nothing. Free. Just let him use you. Stay focused. And be a blessing to others. Because when you treat others how you want to be treated, it's going to come back to you tenfold. And one day, you got to have to know you have to give accountability for your report card. Ha! <laughs> While you in class, pay attention to the teacher mm -hmm. because you got to take notes. And then to sum it all up, the tripod is pray, study, in action. Amen. Once you pray about it, then you got to go do your study material. Mm -hmm. Then you got to put it in action. Yes, ma'am. Be a blessing. Yes, ma'am. Put the icing on cake. <laughs> Okay, we can go home now. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Our next hymn, Jesus Calls Us. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Today is Matthew 21, 23 through 32. Mm -hmm. Talking about Jesus, when he entered the temple, the chief priests and elders of the people came to him as he was teaching mm -hmm. and said, by what authority are you doing these things? <laughs> and who gave you this authority? Mm -hmm. Imagine asking God that. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Mm -hmm. If you tell me the answer, then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. He had been mad. Did the baptism of John come from heaven or was it of human origin? Mm. And they argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say, then why did you not believe him? Mm. <laughs> but if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the crowd for all regard John as a prophet. Mm -hmm. So they answered Jesus, we do not know. And he said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. <laughs> what do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second and said the same. And he answered, I go, sir. Uh -huh. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said, the first. Jesus said to them, truly, I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. Mm -hmm. huh. mm -hmm. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. Mm -hmm. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. Mm -hmm. And well. even after you saw it, you did not change your minds mm -hmm. and believe him. Mm -hmm. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you to God. <laughs> Uh -huh. Father God, thank you for bringing us here today. Father God, thank you for keeping us safe. Father God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for being there for us. And thank you for giving us things that we didn't deserve, but that we need. Lord, allow me to be your mouthpiece and vessel today for your children. Some people really need to shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was kind of, I didn't want to say that at the beginning of the sermon, but I said, some people really need to shut up. <laughs> Could you imagine how it would feel to be Moses, mm -hmm. to go on and see God mm -hmm. and talk to God mm -hmm. in all the glory and power uh -huh. and majesty, mm -hmm. and you're talking to God one one hour and then you depart from God and here comes somebody with their face all twisted up <laughs> and mad and angry over something and it's like you know you're going from here to here to here and I'm just, I'm like just shut up <laughs> just shut up I just communed with God I was close to God I know everybody in this room has had those moments where you have been close to God. Mm -hmm. you, as my mother would say, he feels so real, you could reach out and just touch, touch him. Uh -huh. And you, you're just, yeah, you have that oneness. And then here comes somebody with some junk. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, just junk. And it's like, you have to, you have to maneuver. And uh -huh. you, you know, you can't do what you used to do. You can't say what you used to say. Uh -huh. <laughs> can't do that anymore. But um, you can't do that. We know what we used to say. We know what we used to do. And I, you know, but now we can't do that. But I find these people who are walking around with their face twisted up. When I was in um, grade school, they used to call them people. That you used to call those kind of people. Say they had gas faces. Uh -huh. You know, they just making all these yeah. ugly faces. Yeah. And <laughs> you have to understand those people have they do not have a sense of gratitude mm -hmm. now they went through some things too and they're upset because they can't appreciate the good god that we serve now i don't know what you can do for them except pray right <laughs> you can't do a thing for them they are just upset they mad they angry and you know it's like you're killing my heart <coughs> I'm up here with Jesus. I'm up here on the cloud. I'm up here talking to God. 
and I'm in a good space. Hmm. Don't, hey, don't, go. don't kill it. Mad about toothpaste. <laughs> It'll be something silly they're yeah. mad about and upset about. And like, don't kill it. And that's why I did this sermon, because some people, instead of being mad about those things, why don't you think about the things God gave you and the good mm -hmm. things God did for you? Mm -hmm. You know, and I know we have needs and we have to, needs have to be met and you pray to God for your need. But at the same time, don't walk around here mad and angry at everybody and you see people you don't know and you looking at them mad and all that stuff. They could be giving you your blessing. God could be sending that person to you. Mm -hmm. I had to go through a wilderness experience and God's God basically looked at me and said, you're going to learn today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God did me like that. You're going to learn that the people who help you don't look the way you want, want them, them to look. look. And I had to learn a hard lesson that you don't choose your friends. Your friends choose, choose you. you. Uh -huh. I had to now. learn a hard, <laughs> hard lesson. Now. And I had to learn what gratitude was. Uh -huh. But That's why I give you this message. Now that I'm getting older, I'm maxed out on toxic people and oh. ungrateful people. <laughs> Come on, Dale. You know who I'm talking about. The person who walks into the room looking under-eyed at everybody mm -hmm. for little to no reason. <laughs> the person who you just helped out but already is upset because you shouldn't be the person to help them to begin with. Mm -hmm. They had someone else in mind. Hmm. They already assumed that someone they liked was going to help them. Or maybe you ran across the person who, despite your major contributions to them, chooses to downplay all those contributions mm -hmm. because their jealousy of you won't allow them to see the work you oh. put into their project. Okay. I don't know if anybody has felt that. <laughs> Everybody has, knows what that feels like to deal with that person. <laughs> you can bend over backwards for some people, mm -hmm. and yet there are some people who aren't able to at least say, thank, thank you, you for helping mm -hmm. me. I appreciate you helping me. Come on now, Tim. If they're not, not going to do it for God, they're not going to do it for you. They're not going to do it for God. Amen. Their attitude is a form of disobedience because mm -hmm. they're not grateful for anything. Nothing. That rather than to obey what God had for them to get rather than to obey and just you know what God I'm going to go ahead instead of going into my own hatefulness meanness and negativity God I'm supposed to have this where I go to you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I ask you that's God wants you to obey him God gave you that instruction go to him mm -hmm. and you go to him and you obey and then God will give you blessings yes. but rather than to do that they need to be looking mean at you uh -huh. and you and you and you. And you. <laughs> yeah. They got to be looking mean and angry. Uh -huh. Okay, well, you're actually disobeying what God had you to do. Mm -hmm. If you have a need, uh -huh. God says, come to me. Come on uh -huh. now. I'll give it to you. Come on now. So you're disobeying. <laughs> you're disobeying. It's real simple. You're disobeying. Um, their attitude is a form of disobedience because the good Lord answered their prayers and sent you into their lives. Mm -hmm with his blessings for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yet, they turn their nose up at you. Mm -hmm. The truth is, they're actually uh -huh. turning their nose up at God. And they know it. How <laughs> is it that they should be picky uh -huh. as to what type of blessing they should receive from God? Uh -huh. Get your blessings. Get your blessings. Be grateful for it uh -huh. and sit down. <laughs> you didn't have to get a blessing at all. Okay. This is why God is God. I'm, I, some, there's this horrible saying, and I cannot stand it. And it, it just, oh, it, it, it's a pet peeve. I hate hearing it. I hate hearing this saying that they say the black man is God. I don't want to be God because I don't want, if Moses had to deal with them ungrateful people, I don't want to deal with a planet full of people uh -huh. and them being, uh, having right. all the ungratitude uh -huh. and lack of um, generosity and uh -huh. lack of appreciation. No. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm glad God is God and Tim is Tim. <laughs> this whole black man is God thing, I don't, I don't even agree with. I'm like, yeah. no. Yeah, absolutely. Don't want that job. Yeah. Not the job for me. 
Um, I've seen people like this. There are some in our scriptures today. Uh -huh. I don't know how Moses kept together with those grumbling, ungrateful uh, Israelites in the book of Exodus. <laughs> Didn't they just see those plagues hitting Egypt oh, upside no. the head? Okay. God used Moses to give them their freedom and part mm -hmm. the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. Yet you would think they would seem to figure out <laughs> that if they needed water, God would find a way to give it to them. Yes, Lord. God found a way to live things. Yes. Yep. They start grumbling against Moses. Uh -huh. They did what we do mm -hmm. because God wasn't going to leave them out of Egypt to die. Come on now. Just like God won't bring us out of our junk Come into on. starvation. Come on, man. We're yeah. just like them. I know. I'm guilty, too. Uh -huh. I've done that, too. Uh -huh. not, not, I'm definitely not going to lie. I've been <laughs> definitely not going to lie. Despite all the ingratitude, God commanded Moses to hit a certain rock, and the children received water from that rock. Uh -huh. God making a way out of no way. And yet, some of us are too ungrateful and disobedient uh -huh. to let it sink in. Mm -hmm. What really gets me is only a certain person, I'm sorry, only a certain person <laughs> can bring a blessing or God can move through a certain person in society or it's a certain person in this clique or a certain person who has this or mm -hmm. looks this way or whatever. This is why we always see the Pharisees, because we act like the Pharisees when we do. Mm -hmm. We always see the Pharisees with eggs on their faces <laughs> whenever they try to entrap Jesus. Mm -hmm. Instead of turning their nose up at Jesus by trying to entrap him, by asking him what authority he took to teach the chief priests mm -hmm. and elders who came to hear him, mm -hmm. they should have been asking him questions about the end time. Mm -hmm. They should have been asking him questions about their lives mm -hmm. and this person who loves them. Mm -hmm. No, they put their time and energy into junk. Mm -hmm. But no, why obey someone you are jealous of? Mm -hmm. See, this is why a lot of our prayers don't get answered. Right. Our horrible, dysfunctional behavior mm -hmm. prevents our own prayers from reaching us. Mm -hmm. You've got some things you've been asking God for for a long time, <laughs> but I don't like I don't like her. And <laughs> she looks this way, mm -hmm. and she wore this. Or like I always say up in here, I remember what she did in 1983. <laughs> She's the one who's supposed to help you. Uh -huh. Okay. On, She's now. the one who's supposed to help you. Come on, You're going to miss your blessings trying to shoot her down. Come on now. Some people need to stop reflecting the image of our doggy dog world mm -hmm. and allow Christ to shine through them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They and we, I'm not going to mm -hmm. act like I'm innocent. They and we need to shun the grumblings of the children of Israel and the Pharisees and stop acting like we know everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Because we don't. Mm -hmm. God knows the heart. Come on now. Man doesn't. Therefore, treat your neighbor with some respect. We are to be tenderhearted, compassionate with mm -hmm. each other, mm -hmm. caring and loving mm -hmm. and supportive. We're supposed to be building each other up, and mm -hmm. we're supposed to be there for each other. Yeah not complaining and underestimating people and pulling people down. As you can tell, I'm burnt out with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not, you know, yeah. We're not supposed to be doing that. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to be under, underestimating people because they don't fit in our boxes. Mm -hmm. Fully receive your blessings by being Christ-like with others. Mm -hmm. Fully receive your blessing by being the salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. Appreciate and give gratitude to smiling strangers when you see them. Mm -hmm. Stop looking down your nose at folks. <laughs> In closing, know that it's time to move from drinking milk to eating meat. Mm -hmm. okay. Behave like Christ mm -hmm. and give out love to those who need it. Mm -hmm. God is love. Amen. 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 Thank you, Tim. Somebody picked some good hymns today. <laughs> yeah. 
Our hymn of response is, Here I Am, Lord. sets it with his own body to remind us of the power of his love to overcome all evil, human divisions, and even the power of death. He instructed us to share in it in unity of the Spirit with love for one another as he has loved us. Let us join in the prayer that he taught his disciples to pray. Our, Our loving parent, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This table proclaims the accomplishment of God's promised salvation. As you've confessed your sins, and turn to the grace of God in Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. God is with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to God. God. Let us give thanks to God. It is right, right to give God thanks and praise. Let us pray. 
Yes, oh God, you created all that is with your word. And your love calls all creation to unite, to bring forth life and glorify you. We look to the word that became flesh for our redemption and reconciliation through your grace. Your love is for all who turn to you in faith and hope. We give thanks for your love that comes to us to give us healing and new life in Jesus Christ. We listen for your spirit to speak, to guide, to help, and to strengthen us in faith until all of your purposes are fulfilled and established forever in glory. We join the hosts of heaven and all of creation in praising and glorifying you as a creator, redeemer, and sustainer of all life, saying together, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna in the highest. The Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Mm -hmm. In the same way, after the meal, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. As often as you drink it, do so in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death and resurrection until he comes again. Let us pray. God of hosts, creator of the universe, you've given us the grain of the field and the fruit of the vine to sustain our bodies. Jesus took these elements and set them apart for this sacred and holy sacrament to sustain our spirits and community. Bless them now as holy and set them apart for this sacred use as each of us understands your grace and love for us. Amen. Amen. Let us say together the mystery of our faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come again. again. Take and eat. This is the body of Christ given for you. Take and drink. This is the love of Jesus poured out for you. Come share together in unity of the Spirit at this table of God's love for us and for all people in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. God of power and grace, we give you thanks for life and your power to heal and sustain our lives. We give you thanks for the love you show in Jesus. We give you thanks for your presence with us always in your spirit and his reconciling work uniting us in love. We give you thanks for this table and the community that it nurtures enriched by our diversities. We give you thanks for this witness to the resurrection and its power to turn us toward you and trust that no matter what may happen in life, we are forever safe in your care. Amen. 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 Live as children of the light and walk together in unity. As God's beloved children in the love of Jesus, the spirit of God that has been poured out upon you will strengthen and sustain you, guide you and keep you until Christ comes again in glory. God is with you. And also with you. God be with you.